25 by 50, 1 by 2 and 1 is to 2. They all look similar, don't they? Then why do we have all these different ways to represent them? The last one especially looks a bit different from the rest. Why and when do we use these representations? Don't worry, we'll get to that. Let's first understand who what these representations are and their uses with the help of a pizza. So here we have a whole pizza. Let's cut it into 8 equal slices. Or can we say these 8 slices make a whole pizza? If student A takes one slice of pizza, which is a part or a fraction of the whole pizza, we can represent it like 1 by 8, wherein 1 is the part of the pizza and 8 is the whole of the pizza. Now this type of representation is called a fraction. A fraction represents a part of a whole. It's expressed as one quantity divided by another quantity separated by a horizontal division line. In this case, the fraction 1 by 8 wherein the numerator 1 represents the number of slices student A got and the denominator 8 represents the total number of slices in the pizza. Now, let's take it a bit further. We give student B 2 slices of pizza. Now, what's the fraction of the whole pizza that the student B has? As we learned earlier, we can write it as 2 by 8. 2 is the part and 8 is the whole. But notice that both the students ate different number of slices. So if we have to compare the number of slices eaten by the two students, can we still use fractions? No, we can't use fractions because here we are trying to compare part by part and not a part of a whole. And this is where ratios come into the picture. We use ratios when we talk about part by part comparison of two or more quantities. Ratio is represented by the symbol colon with the quantities to compare on either side of the colon. Here, we have shared the pizza among two students. Notice that out of eight slices of pizza, one slice was taken by student A and two slices were taken by student B. So, the ratio of the slices eaten by the student A to that of the student B would be 1 is to 2. This means that for every one slice student A eats, there are two slices that student B eats. When comparing two quantities in a ratio, it's important that the two have the same base or the same units. Like we did in the pizza, wherein the pizza has eight slices in all. This ensures that you are comparing the same type of quantity, which makes the comparison meaningful and accurate. So, we can conclude that to show parts of a whole, we use the mathematical representation fractions. And when we want to show the comparison between the two quantities, we use the mathematical representation of the ratio. Now, here's something for you to do. If I take two pizzas of the same size and then cut them into four and eight slices respectively. Then give one slice from a four slice pizza to student A and give two slices from the eight sliced pizza to the student B. Would the ratio of the pizza eaten by both still be one is to two? Comment below and stay tuned.